Hello guys, this is Cypher Deck, and we are playing with flails today. Yes, those nasty, mean flails that hit you in the skull and break you right open. That slam into a shield and... No, that's not the kind of flails that we're talking about today. We are talking about space engineer kinds of flails. So, what, what do these do exactly? These will eat up light armor heavy armor not so much but light armor if this actually has uh, heavy armor about two layers in so about two layers in you'll see that these bits will start to whittle down and maybe even break off at some point which is why you make them pretty big if you wanted to you can make them modular by putting modules on there but uh, those are still being worked out as far as rotors go um, where you cannot uh, connect to one of these things uh, or it will knock off those rotors there so anyway things to keep working on guys let's go ahead and get in here and before we go go a flailing go a hurting some some uh, ships and whatnot we're going to go ahead and line these things up so what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and do all hammers. We're going to put those at around five. We're going to do this whole unlimited thing. Buy it now, unlimited, blah, blah, blah. Now we're going to go to our negative rotors. And we are going to flip the switch on those. And now they are going to be going forward. And that's how things work. <laughs> that's a good speed, a good hefty speed now if we were to go forward and hit that platform there then we would be in for bad news because of the fact that the way these are set up right now is that if they would hit they would be hitting with all their force and have no kind of spring or help uh, relieving that that um, that pain it's like it's like jumping off of a building <laughs> And if you did not have your knees, you may actually die. Which, you probably would die jumping off a building. That's not really a good reference. Don't quote me, guys. Um, but anyway, um, you need you need your knees. And that's what these need. They need knees. So what you'll see is once we turn them on, they will start wrapping around themselves once they hit something. And it will create... An uh, exponential force hitting even harder whenever it hits the, the platform. So let's stop talking. As you can see, it, you can get kind of seasick in this thing. That's why there's engines here trying to keep it from going up and down. Let's not look at that too long because I am kind of seasick. I uh, did something earlier that I shouldn't have done with uh, with the mega flail, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into other rotors. I'm trying to not worry about that so much. Put that there, there, and then that there. And we should not have to worry so much about those twisting. Uh, but you can see that they're now going to give a little bit more oomph when they hit that first time. So let's go ahead and start moving in towards this thing. Kind of nosing down because we... Um, hit this thing from the top or anywhere uh, we're gonna have problems keeping ourselves aligned so we're gonna keep nosing down while we move forward nice and slow nice and slow on the tossing seas <laughs> the seas I'm telling you uh, and if we're careful we may be able to get these to go through their whole life cycle and what I mean by that is the whole hammer um, is used completely. And as, for, as far as the center uh, hammers, those, oh, we're getting close. Uh, let's go ahead and realign. We're kind of off. There we go. Gonna start seeing some damage. Um, what I was trying to say is when we get those center um, hammers to about half on one side we can actually flip those around because they have a backwards ability to them 
going to try to lower down as we go. Oh yeah, nice, nice hits there. It's kind of weird flying the ship because you can't really fly it straight on. You have to just fly it in an angle and if you nose down too much, then it won't have anywhere to curl up and it will actually break the hammer off like it did there. So let's go ahead and take a look here. See if it's still hitting. Uh, don't get hit along the way. Looks like we need to move in a little more. Um, actually, which one broke off? Oh, that one out there. Okay. Eh. Running the gauntlet. <laughs> I just got an idea. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is raise up here a little bit and try to nose down as we do so that we can get back into water. Oh, we just lost the hammer. You never know when you're going to lose them. Um, gotta go in a little bit more. Uh, oof. I wanted to hit there. It wanted to. And go in a little bit more. There we are. Nice dig. Nice one. Well, anyway, this is the more practical version. I don't know if it's really that practical. If you something that you'd ever use outside of, say, just for fun. Um, I think we do. We lose another hammer. Nope. We still got all of them. All four of them. Let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit more. We're just trying to break through those heavy... Oh, we lost another one. That's my fault. Let's go ahead and get out and take a look at how it's doing against that heavy armor. And that one's doing pretty good against the light armor and just tore a whole freaking hole out of it. But anyway, this is the this is the more practical version. Let's go ahead and go to the impractical. The mega <laughs> the mega flail. One moment. Load that up. <laughs> Flail Maximus. Uh, it really is. It is an absolute beast. Um, I wouldn't want to run into it. That's all I'm saying. Um, really would not want to run into it. This thing can flip you uh, 180 degrees easily if you get in its path. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on up. Gonna get it going, get it on the move, and we will start to see that this thing is gonna start moving around. It's moving the wrong way, but it's gonna start moving around um, at least. And it is going to actually, that's why it's moving around wrong. Let's go ahead and get in here. Go ahead, do this thing, do that. Do 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 that there we go that should move, be moving the right way now so <laughs> let me explain what this thing is how this thing um, came to be is I I was wanting to make a flail uh, for um, just fun and I started making this thing and I got overzealous this is I believe five by five by five and this is 20 um, 20 blocks long so that is one two three four um, that is a total of 80 blocks long which is a massive ship pretty much um, and then the hammer itself is I believe five by five and then all the accoutrement from the, um, the spikes and whatnot that really do not do anything 
So let's go ahead and get a ship. I'm gonna copy this before I, I'm actually gonna, I have the blue ship still. I have a blue ship. Why am I even worried about it? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this and look for the flail where it's located. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> um, let's just see how close that is getting to this from that far away. That is pretty darn close for being that far away. Let's just get to there, see what it does. Oh. Hey, I'm still in the cockpit. <laughs> um, yeah, that got wiped out. Oh, and it got hit again. It's in a nice, nice spot. Now, the hammerhead itself really isn't that important. Um, oh. It's still hitting. That's good. Uh, it's not as important as, say, maybe those large uh, portions of it because of the fact that uh, they are bulkier and can take more damage. Let's go ahead and lay down a cockpit right there. I'm overzealous. I want two of them, I guess. And let us move a little closer into the fray. I want to just see if this thing will just eat this ship up. Oh, and as you see, it turned the whole ship. If we get closer, it will it will actually flip this thing around three, 360 easy. <laughs> it's like being hit on the jaw in the same place every single time. So this is the Mega Flail. This is overzealous. It is way too much. Oh, that's gonna hit hard. Oh, took half the took half the flail with it. Um, and bared me into the platform. That engine's gone. Um, come on, man. Is that all? Oh my goodness! And that's it. That's all you got. Can't do anything else. That ship is a dead one. And now that's gonna fly out into space. <laughs> Let's go get blue, and then we will end this. Uh, end this there with blue being destroyed. <laughs> this is an amazing uh, device that I've built. Um, probably one of the bigger flails that I've seen. Really, I haven't seen anyone just say, hey, I'm building a flail. <laughs> haven't seen that before. Um, what do you think? Go for the, the decapitation? Maybe. Or go in for, the, um, for justice. There it is, so we're gonna start dipping down. I'm gonna go for justice, I think. Seeing where they shoot. Hmm. I wanna see, I wonder if these Gatling guns can even catch up with it. Let's try it out. It's going for one location. <laughs> it's trying to trace it. Um, but that thing is going way too fast for it to actually trace out. Oh, 
Oh, I missed. Trying to get out a little bit more, but. Oh, got a hit on it. It's doing absolutely no damage to that thing. Alright, got, <laughs> got some on it. Am I scared? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you be? Get some damage. Uh, the only way we're going to defeat this thing is if we destroy the rotor because now we're getting into its territory. Oh. <laughs> Why would you have all your engines in the front? Why would you have all your reactors there? That's where people are going to go for. I mean, jeez. Anyway, this is Cypher Deck. I hope you enjoyed. Um, tell me what you think about the flails. Uh, I pre am I want to go with the... Um, with the assumption that they are worthless, to be honest. I, I don't really see a purpose. Um, as you can see, I um, just want to give you a heads up what I'm working on. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it's a wheel. <laughs> no, it's more than that. Um, but uh, it is a small version of a design that I'm, I'm looking at making. And you may figure it out, but anyway. That is something I'm working on, and we'll probably take to another um, to another game save because I kind of like to save these to their own names. Like the Mega Flail is in the Flail Magnuson, I think is what it's called. But anyway, let me know what you think. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.